for the our geometric seal guided drawing today. Um, so the first thing that you need to do is you need to make sure that you have a white piece of paper like this one, that it's oriented vertically, and that means that the short edges of our rectangular paper are the top and the bottom. Now you can see that on my paper I have a black circle in the center of my paper. I did the first two steps before we started, so I'm going to show you what I did. I am using a Sharpie because I want you to be able to see on camera. You should use a pencil that way. If you make a mistake, you can erase it. So once you have your paper oriented in vertical, we're going to match up the bottom edge of our paper to the top edge of our paper. We're going to get the corners as close as we can to matching. And when we do, we can press down on our fold to create a fold line or a crease. Once you have that, you can reopen your paper and remember at any point, if you need to pause your video to finish a step, you're more than welcome to do that. The next thing that we're going to do is along our fold, we're going to draw a dot as close to the center as we can. My dot is not right in the center. That's okay. Just try to get it as close to the center as you can. This dot is going to be the nose for our seal. And underneath the nose, we're going to draw our seal's body as a, or not a rectangle, excuse me, as a triangle. And I'm practicing with my finger first because I know if I can draw it with my finger, I can draw it with my pencil or with my marker, whatever I'm drawing with. So now I've practiced my triangle a couple times. I'm ready to draw it. Awesome. All right, so now I have my seal's nose, my seal's body, and we are at ready to add a couple of details. Before we add details, so I'm gonna add its flippers. So I'm going to draw two half circles. You could also call them semi-circles. One right here at the bottom, and then one right here. Right here. So almost if you turn it to its side, it looks like a mouse ear a little, or like a mouse with ears a little bit. Let's draw his eye, his or her eye, and we'll draw that with a circle right here. Actually, mine turned out to be a little bit more like an oval, but that's all right. I'm gonna draw a smile right there. And then we're gonna add some whiskers. So some straight lines coming off the side of your nose, like that on each side. And if it's not perfectly like mine, that's okay. We're just doing our best here. All right, the next thing we need to do is we need to add our tail. Our tail is going to go on the opposite side of our flippers. So these are our flippers right here. So that means we're gonna draw our tail right here. We're gonna draw another triangle for our tail. This time it's gonna be smaller. I'm gonna practice again with my finger to make sure that I can draw it with my finger. And once I'm sure I can draw it with my finger, I'm gonna draw it with my marker. Great. So there's part of my tail. I need to add two more parts, two more tinier triangles. So they're gonna come off the very point that way. And then I'm gonna draw one more on the other side. And I like to turn my paper as I work to make it easier for my hands to reach certain areas of the paper. Awesome. So now our seal's body is drawn. We need to draw the three balls that balance on its nose, and we I need to add the platform for it to sit on. So the platform is a rectangle. So I'm gonna draw two vertical lines coming down from the bottom of my seal like that. These are vertical, that means they go up and down. Then I'm gonna connect my two vertical lines with one horizontal line. And horizontal line goes from side to side like the horizon line. So now we have a platform for our seal to sit on and I'm just trying to touch up my lines a little bit because they got a little messy. So I'm trying to fix that really quickly before we move on. Now we're gonna draw the three balls that balance on the seal's nose. 
we're going to draw circles. Um, if they turn out looking a little bit like ovals, that's okay. We're just doing the best that we can. So I'm going to start at my nose and I'm going to draw one circle and do the best I can. And my circle's a little lopsided. That's okay. It happens sometimes. If I had an eraser, I could erase it and try again, but I don't, so I'm just going to keep going. One more circle. And then a third. So we have three kind of beach balls balanced on the seal's nose. All right, before we add decorations or design patterns to our stand and to the three beach balls right up here, we are going to add a ring for a seal, for the seal to be inside of. And it's kind of like we're pretending he's at a circus and performing at a circus. So we're gonna draw the ring that he's performing in. And we're gonna do that by drawing a rainbow line. But it's tricky because we're gonna have to draw this rainbow line from the edge of our page all the way to the other like that. The problem is, is we don't wanna draw our line through our seal. That wouldn't make sense visually. So we're gonna have to draw our line on one side and then we're gonna have to hop over, draw, hop over, and finish our line over here. Let's give it a try. Okay, here's my first line. We're gonna do two of these. Whoop, I hit the edge of my seal, so now I'm gonna hop over. Keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, I hit my seal again. Now I gotta hop over to the other side and now I can draw it all the way to the other edge of my paper. All right, phew, that was the first one. Let's try the second one. Here we go. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oop. I hit the side of my seal. Now I have to hop over. And keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going, keep going. Phew, that was tricky, but we did it. All right, now that we have our ring, our seal, and all of his different performance things, we can start to add some details. So we can decorate our beach balls to look exactly like the drawing guide if you want. I'm going to do something a little bit different to make this uniquely mine. So I'm gonna make this one at the very top, polka dot it. You could use lines or stripes. This one kind of is starting to look like the moon or a giant chocolate chip cookie. That's okay. I do like the star pattern that's in the example. So I'm gonna put that one in the middle You do not have to do the same designs that I do. You can make up your own. And this star looks a little bit wonky, but that is okay. It kind of reminds me of the stars that um, Henri Matisse used to put in his collages that were a little bit leaned to one side. So I like that. I really like Henri Matisse. Then the last one I'm going to have be striped, I think. And then... I like the example in the um, drawing guide for the stand, so I'm just going to do those zigzag lines like that. And then I'm going to fix that. Maybe I could add some lines right in here to make this look more like a ring. Oop, I gotta stop there so I don't draw through my seal's tail. So after you are done adding your designs to the stand, to the three beach balls, to the wall of the um, circus ring, we're gonna stop for this week and then next week we're gonna add some color. So once you're done with this, you're done for this week and then next week we will add high quality color with crayons. All right, friends, I'm so excited to see all the different designs you chose for all of your different parts of your geometric seal illustration.